All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, uh, we have the uh, software coming up to you. This is a uh, trade management software. Um, so this is coming out to you uh, this weekend. Um, we're going to go over settings. I go over settings to start out with you guys. Um, uh, th these are uh, automated entries with an automated trail. Here's one that's working right now. This is a trade that's actually currently working. But uh, these are automated uh, entries with the uh, automated stop and automated trail. So you can put your targets in. You can put your, your stop can be your ATR trail right here. So it won't stop out until we close below this uh, trailing ATR. I'm going to show you how you can use this if the market is weak or strong to fire in the trades. Remember, we have, we're going to have three type of traders. We're going to have one. We're going to have a trader that, uh, that wants to use the indicator when it's strong or weak. So if we're in a stronger position or weaker position, so let's say for right now, the NASDAQ futures, we went over this yesterday. This is a stronger position it was this morning right here. Stronger position. So from this point to this point, you're looking for what? You're looking for longs. You're looking to buy, buy the market. Right now, stronger position. You're looking to buy the retracements, right? So we're, you can use this in conjunction with the automated software that can get you in on entries, trails, stops, etc. Okay, it's a trade management software program. All right, so that's one way to use the indicator with the uh, automated way to fire in the trade. The second way is that you can use it with the you can use it with the um, you can use it uh, if you find settings you really like when total automation. Right now I got a runner of just one contract right now running. So you can use this which is one uh, I mean you can use it just for automation completely. The, the key the key thing about the what the trade automation helps with are runners like this. This is this week. Where you get one, you know, this was what, 4388 all the way to what, 4417. A lot of traders won't hold this all the way up like that. And that's where if if you find settings that you like that work with entries, trails, and exits, you know, you can turn it on. If you see the market is in a stronger or weaker position, uh, which I'll show you how to do that in the PDF. I got, gosh, I'm almost on 200, 200 now. Uh, pages on the PDF of examples, but for example, it's like this. If you're in a stronger position on the right now, we're in a stronger position on the on the NQ. So it's something where you can turn the the trade management software on and try to get into this move up, right? So that's something you can do um, as far as what the software goes, and then it trails. See, it's still trailing on. It went sideways here because of the news that came out. It popped in a matter of seconds. It's still trailing. But um, you, you can see that this helps you out on with the entry, exit, and trail. So I'm going to show you how to use it with the overall, if the market is strong or if the market's weak. And they can utilize that as far as that goes. Okay, so that is this weekend. You'll be getting an update this weekend on this software. Um, what I did in the PDF and on the download page, there's original settings that we put in that I'd had Gerald put in um, that is 60 days back, 60 days back on a one, I believe it's a 118 or 120 Rinko on the S&P, and then on the um, on the Momo, and then I got a Wave Trader, which is, this is the Wave Trader, and then we have, this is actually a 25 Rinko, I believe. 25 Rinko, uh, but I do have one that's a 40 that comes with the software, the 40 Rinko 60 days back. But you can adjust these settings. You can adjust your targets. Uh, you can run Strategy Runner on this. You can really hone it down to unique settings that you want to use. Um, what I think a lot of you will want to do is you'll want to use it since a lot of traders like my, my uh, technique of if the market's in a stronger or weaker position, You'll like it when the market gets in a stronger position off a longer Rinko like this and try to get long the market and let it just trail for you. And just like the S&P now, this trade is still trailing, you can see. 
we're still trailing on this setup. Like I said, it went sideways here because of the news popped out. We got a big flash up in the market, but it'll trail. I have this trailing right below price right now. So, um, but that's one advantage of it. So if you can see if, if the market like the NQ right now, we're in a stronger position, <clears throat> you want to get longer on a smaller Renko. So if you see this come up on a longer Renko, we're in a stronger position, we're above, you know, you can try to get long on these swings like that. So and that's something to go over in the PDF for you guys. But this will, uh, we'll have a conference call next Thursday. Uh, next Wednesday or Thursday, I have to get with Jiro, I'll see which date is better for him, and he'll let you know. Um, but it's either going to be Wednesday or Thursday. Um, I'll have to check with him, and we'll send out a notice. And we'll go over this. We'll go over this. Uh, we'll go over this. Here's yesterday's uh, trade setups of a whole session. That's a whole session yesterday, pretty much in a shop market. It got, uh, tw uh, tw what, your, your, your first target break even, first target break even. There's one stop, first target, first target, and then it caught a big one here this morning. It's only trade it's ran this morning so far. But this is this off of this Renko size. You don't have to, like I said, the settings that I send you, you don't, that's not necessarily the best settings for your situation. You know, if you want to use different settings for different entries, that's why we use, we're getting the software out to you. Is my, my settings I sent out to you, are those the best settings for you? Probably not. I mean, a lot. Some traders are scalpers. Some traders are position traders. You know, traders are different. So you know, you can utilize this. What the cool thing about this software is, is like I said, it automates the entry, your trailing stop for the runners, and then the, also the, the the your initial stop will be the trail. So um, and it gets you in zone trend. So you can change the zone trend. So if you like my technique of of looking for a stronger or weaker market, um, like on a larger Renko size, you know, like I went over with you this week. So if you're using a one, what is this, one, 140, 40, and, and you like seeing when it started a stronger position, right? That's when it first started a stronger position. So you can try to get in that software in a stronger position, you know, you can try to get into the software, um, on a push up so to get in let it manage the trail and stuff like that so i go that over that <clears throat> like i said in the pdf <clears throat> hold on one second i go that in the pdf uh, like i said i got about 200 examples on this uh, what we want to try to do is <clears throat> so that comes out tomorrow uh gerald will get that out to you guys the whole idea guys is this <clears throat> and this is the s p here here's a nice buy setup uh, on the S&P this morning, if I see the market in a stronger, when I say stronger, weaker position, this is what I'm talking about. I went over this yesterday in yesterday's video. If my zones are green, these are these are trend zones, right? Trend zones. They're very, very effective because it keeps you on the right side of the market, one. So since midnight, we've had no short setups. It's been buy side setups. So what you want to do is you want to try to position yourself in the strongest momentum position possible. So when my two signal lines sandwich on top of each other at 100 here, this is the strongest position in the ES. All right. So what you want to try to do is you want to try to do two setups. You want to try to get an FZR pullback slingshot where it comes down to the zone. This oscillator comes all the way down below 20. Comes back above 65, 65 to 80, shoots right through it, and you try to get long. Okay, I went over that yesterday. The second one is just get a Momo set up. We broke through the order block. Order blocks are major resistance. I love these order blocks that come with the software. Order blocks are basically old support, old resistance, old, where the market has moved drastically up, drastically down. And it broke through the order block right here of 44.49. That first retracement, the market was already in a stronger position here. It still is in a strong position, right? So we're buying. We're buying. So that's stronger. That, that, the software is pretty unique because it told you it was in a stronger position to look for what? A, 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 a snapback. We can call it a slingshot where you come down to the zone. You get your, your shorter oscillator pulled back below 20, 
back to 65 for the push, or we get a Momo trade. Well, this audible alert fired on your on your computer to get long right there. So the long side setup on the S&P was 44.5550, and it's high as 66. So right there is a 10-point move on the S&P, just off of a stronger position trade that I go over, and I go over this in the um, I go over this in the um, I go over this in the PDF. So the same way with the Nasdaq futures right now, I'm in a stronger position, right? I'm in a stronger position right here. So a stronger position, so you look for Momo trades and snapback trades. So you can do that. You can do that with the software, all right? By by looking at is the market in a stronger, weaker position. Now you can use a longer Rinko size. This is a 20 Rinko, and this is a 13. So you can use a 13 along with this 20. If this 20 is in a stronger position, then from 5:05 this morning, from 5:05 you're looking for what you're looking to buy the market on a smaller Rinko size this is a nice setup here's a slingshot so you can take slingshots off the smaller Rinko sizes based upon your longer Rinko size so my longer Rinko size says hey hey guys listen the S&P at 504 this morning is saying you need to buy retracements. So since 505, right now it's 840 in the morning, it has told you to only buy retracements. That's it. No shorts. So what I'm trying to show you is I'm trying to show you you can trade momentum windows. Momentum windows of opportunity. So the momentum window is 5 o'clock and it's still pegged north. So what? how does that work for us on smaller Rinkos for smaller stops? Well, at 504, my larger Rinko size said we're in a stronger position to only buy. So from this point on, here's our window of opportunity. So how can we get long? We can let the oscillator pull back below for a slingshot below 20 and shoot right through this 65 to 80 right here. And once it shoots through that 65, 80, you know that we don't have a bearish move now because a bearish move is you come up to 65 get rejected right what well, punches through 6580 there's your slingshot buy that just happened on the S&P and look at the momentum you get your first target was hit pretty quick so you're at 55 and three quarters it hit 60 and three quarters pretty quick within a matter of minutes so that was a nice little push right and then we get another slingshot buy. Why? Because the position is still strong. Look at my position. I'm strong. I'm in the strongest position. I don't have these two signal lines in the middle of the zone. I mean, middle of my signal, uh, middle of my my oscillator chart. It's pegged. It is pegged above 80. So it tells me that I want to look for slingshot trades or momentum trades. So there's a one slingshot trade. And we're now two for two this morning. There's my second slingshot trade. It went below 20, slingshot above, there's your entry. Went below 20, slingshot above, there's your entry. Look at both setups. That's when it crossed. There's your entry. So this one was 56, as high as 66, 10 points potential. And this one, 61 to 66 five point potential just by positioning yourself in the strongest momentum market possible these are called windows of opportunity now if we get the market so we're in a window of opportunity here on a slingshot below 20 right back 65 below 20 back about 65 80 some of you are liking to go from 20 right through 80 to make sure you're not getting a false move which is fine that's fine you guys are Email me now about this sub and say, hey, can I let it go back through 20 and back above 80? Yeah, you're going to give up a few ticks, but you know that you're not in a, what, bearish move. You're in a bullish blow-off rally, right? Potential move. So that's good. But let's just take a look at the market right now. We are in a bullish move. We're not in a bearish move. This is where the software helps you out because I'm in the stronger position. My zones are very, very effective in catching that. 
we have not been short on the zones since 550 yesterday off this chart. But the strongest position came in this morning at 504. So at 504, as a trader, you're saying, hey, I got to make sure I'm looking for buy retracements. Here's one on the 20. This is a Momo. There's one on the 120. My window of opportunity is still long. Here's where the window started of strong momentum started right there. And here's my slingshot trade. Below 20 through 65.80, below 20 through 65.80. And you get the push. There's your window of opportunity. One is for 10 points potential. One is for five points. It's two for two this morning. All, and this is off of a 113.13, guys. This is not off of a larger uh, frame, Rinko, where you're getting a larger stop. That's a smaller stop. You're talking about two ticks outside. That's a 15 tick stop for a 10 point move, for a five point potential move. All right. So what we want to try to do, we want to do that in all markets. In is when when is the market in a stronger, weaker position? Right now the S and P is stronger, so we're only buying. Where traders tend to fail, and I trade. I, I when I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas trade show, I go over this all the time with members. And there are 6,000 traders out there. And I tell you what, almost all the traders I talk to are the oscillators they use, the uh, indicators they use are almost all counter trend trading moves. They use this oscillator totally different. What they try to do, a lot of the software programs, this is overbought. So we, we're, we're going to sell. Or, or this is oversold to 20. So we're, we're going to buy. It, it doesn't work that way. So... You know, the market, and that's how a lot of buy stops and sell stops get caught in the market. Counter trend traders, I've never seen, and, and, and this, is, this, is, this is over all the years we've done this, I've never seen one counter trend trader make money consistently. Not one, ever. Not of these, tra that these trade shows I've been going to, and that was over 6,000 traders, not in the room, not people, traders emailing me. I've never seen one counter trend trader make any consistent money, ever. What I have seen traders do well in, is we are buying high and selling higher. We're shorting low and buying lower. What does that mean? We're actually you're actually buying high here. You're not buying low here. You're buying high because the market's in a stronger position. Why? Because counter trend traders are trying to short this order block. They're trying to short this swing right here because we're overbought on our signal lines. We trade them differently. We want to be pegged above 100 in the overbought territory. We want to be pegged below the oversold territory. Why? Because that's where momentum comes in. That's where the counter trend traders get taken to the woodshed. We want their order flow, right? We want them to use all their oscillators and their Mac and all this other stuff. We want them to use all these lagging indicators because when they do that, it creates order flow for us. We're trying to buy stronger position markets. We're trying to sell weaker position markets. And the s and has done that this morning. All right. So, and you can do it off of any, like I said, any Rinko size that you want to do. It will be in the PDF. And like I said, this uh, trade management software, here's a NASDAQ running this morning right now. This trade management software can be used for that. Um, and we go over that. We'll go over that in the conference calls, how you can use this trade management software if the market's in a weaker or stronger position uh, for you. Um, and then... The, the, the thing about this software, the, this automated software, I like it if you are a trader that just cannot trail trades. This trail is a really nice trail system that you can uh, hold it right to price if we're, if we're in a strong market up or strong market down. That's what I really like about it. Um, some of you uh, will really like that, enjoy that, about that feature. So we'll go over that in next week's conference call. This update will come to you this weekend.